everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create this ladybug nail design. This is so cute and it's perfect for spring and I've been seeing a lot of ladybugs so why not have some on your nails. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's go ahead and get started. First, apply a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, go ahead and paint the nails that you want the ladybugs to be on red. And I just wanted it to be on my ring fingers and thumbs. And for the rest of the nails, I just put a pink nail polish on. So this is totally optional if you want it to be a ring, like an accent nail, or if you want it to be on all 10 of your nails. So I'm going ahead and applying the first coat of polish. Then, if you need to, go ahead and apply a second coat to make the colors more opaque. Now it's time to create the ladybug. So, on your red nail, I'm taking a black striper and you're going to create a red a black French tip and you want this kind of thick but not like half of your nail you just want it like a third of your nail so just like this and I'm just going to fill in the rest with the black and you can even do this with a different base color if you like wanted it pink but I just like it with the red but that is totally optional if you want it to be with a different background color so I'm going ahead and just filling in the tips and then we will move on to the next step So I totally forgot to film this part, but what I did is I took the striper with the black nail polish and I created a line going down the center of my nail and that's all I did. So this is what it should look like so far. And the next part is taking a dotting tool and creating dots with the black nail polish on the red and this is what it should look like when you're done with that. And next, it's time to create the eyes. So I decided to use rhinestones today, but you can also use some white nail polish and a dotting tool. But what I did is I created the eyes with the rhinestones by taking a dotting tool and clear polish so that the rhinestones stick. And I took a dotting tool with a little bit of polish on it to pick up the rhinestones, and I'm just sticking those on the wet nail polish. And later, when it's a little bit drier, I stuck them down a little bit more with my fingers so that way they will last a bit longer instead of chip off like in two seconds. So finally apply a top coat to protect your design from chipping away. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, or rate. If you have a request or any questions for me, just leave it in the comments. Follow me on all my social networks. The links will be in the description box. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!